Cervical cancer is the third leading cause of cancer in women worldwide. Human papillomavirus, or HPV, is the cause of essentially all cases of cervical cancer. HPV infection and cervical cancer occur more frequently in HIV positive compared to HIV negative women. More than 90% of HPV infections clear on their own within a few years, meaning that women can completely eliminate the infection with their own immune system. It's the persistence of HPV that's linked to the development of precancer and cancer. For HIV negative women, there's been many steps taken to reduce the burden of frequent testing. So many women may have abnormal pap smears that lead to tests that maybe they don't need because the HPV will clear on its own. In the United States Cervical Cancer Screening Guidelines, in women who are 30 years of age or older, the recommendation was recently changed that if women tested negative by pap smear and negative for HPV DNA, that the interval for screening could increase from three years to five years. For HIV-infected women, the recommendations for pap testing are to have pap tests done twice in the first year after they're diagnosed with HIV, and if those are negative, to have it yearly thereafter. HPV testing is not currently recommended for HIV-positive women. So the objective of our study was to see if cervical cancer screening could be reduced in women who have HIV if they test negative by pap smear and have a negative HPV test. So we studied two groups of women, women who are HIV positive and women who are HIV negative, who had a negative pap test and negative HPV test. So we found a similar low risk of precancer and cancer in HIV positive and negative women after five years of follow-up. There were no cases of cancer diagnosed in either group. And what we think is that additional studies, observational studies, or maybe a clinical trial are needed before clinical guideline committees decide whether to recommend HPV co-testing in HIV-positive women.